Hi, today we will discuss the development of truncated cylinder. I will read out the problem. Here, the information is not given perfectly in a theoretical way. They had given a uh, figure. With the figure, we have to develop the solution. For that, I will read out the initial uh, information given in the problem. Below figure shows the front view of a truncated cylinder of 50 mm diameter resting on its base on the HP. Draw the development of lateral surface of cut, pill, cut cylinder. Cut cylinder. That is here the figure is given. The figure is given and from the figure we have to develop the solution. From the figure we have to develop the solution. In the figure it is shown that diameter of the cylinder is 50 mm and axis height of the cylinder is 55 mm. In the case of this diagram that is in the front view, uh, we have two section planes. This is uh, one section plane, say first section plane which is making an angle 60 degrees at the bottom of the generator and another section plane, this is another section plane that is uh, with the radius of uh, cutting is uh, given, radius of the cutting is given. So from this we have to develop the solution, from this we have to develop the solution. So at the diameter of the base is given as 50 mm and axis height is given as 50 mm, 55 mm. And uh, they mentioned that the object is resting on its base is on uh, HP. Object is resting on its base is on HP. So top view it is a circle, front view it is rectangle. Now we'll develop this. Now we'll develop this. So first step. What is the first step? What is the first step? The first step here is uh, to draw X Y line. After that, with given radius, draw one circle. The given radius, draw one circle. What the radius? 25 mm is given in the problem. That is diameter is uh, 55 mm now. Top view, it is a circle. Top view, it is a circle. Then divide the circle into 12 parts. Divide the circle into 12 parts. First step, draw XY line. After that, draw circle. After that, draw circle. Then O as a center with the radius of the circle as a radius with one end of the diameter as a center. Draw an arc. Like this, we'll divide the circle into 12 parts. After that, give numbering, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then, draw projectors. Draw projectors for drawing the front view. So while drawing the front view we have to see that what is the given axis height say 2 and 12 coincides each other and 3 and 11 coincides each other 4 and 10 coincides each other 5 and 9 coincides each other 6 and 8 coincides each other 7 also single 7 is single point then with the given axis height
next give numbering for the print tube say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 with primes next here I had given numbers only for the bottom base even for the top base also we have to give say 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 1 8 1 9 1 10 1 11 1 12 1 similarly here say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 after that draw After that, draw section plane line. That section plane line is making an angle. How much inclination it is? 60 degrees. Making an angle? 60 degrees. So, draw section plane line, which is making an angle 60 degrees, so that it is passing through the, it is passing through the, this corner. This angle is how much? 60 degrees. This is first section plane line. Then next, second section plane line. Second section plane line. So it's given in the form of a arc. The radius is the bottom half of the bottom of the base. This is the second section plane then we'll dot the required region to be developed next here now this is the first section plane and this is the second section plane this is the second section plane after that we will locate the intersection points of the first section plane as well as the generators of the cylinder so first one say a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash i dash that is a is a point on 1 1 generator b is a point on 2 2 generator next c is a point on 3 3 generator like that we will look at different points coming to here this e and f are not on the generators they are on the top base they are on the top base that is in between 4 1 and 5 1 in between 4 1 and 5 1 4 1 and 5 1 now drop projectors from EF towards the top U draw projectors from EF towards the top U say here this is E and there it is F there it is F now from first section plane intersection location of first section plane intersection points with the uh, front view of a cylinder is over next coming to the second section plane that is a curved surface that is a curved surface for that also we will give the letters say p dash q dash r dash s dash t dash u dash v dash p q r s t u v W X W X. Now we'll do the actual development right now. As we know that we are using parallel line method for the development of cylinder as well as prism. So we'll draw two parallel lines. We'll draw two parallel lines 
from the front tube. After that, locate a point 1, see that this 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is pi d value. Divide this 1, 1, 1 into 12 equal parts, 1, 1, 1 into 12 equal parts by using acute angle line method. 1, 1, 1 distance is 1, 1, 1 distance is pi d value and divide this pi d value into 12 parts say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 1. After that drop perpendiculars. Drop perpendiculars at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one. After that. From different division points of the front view, draw lines parallel to the baseline. First section plane lines, I mean drawing lines from the intersection points of first section plane line with the cylinder at over. Now we locate the intersection points on the main development say A next B next C D coming to E where is E? E is in between 4 and 5 take 4 E as a radius 4 as a center locate a point E similarly f is in between 9 and 10 f is in between 9 and 10 again 10 f as a radius locate a point f from these points drop perpendiculars from these points drop perpendiculars say at e drop perpendicular f also drop perpendicular why we located here because e is in between 4 and 5 on the base of a circle that's why located e here even f is in between 9 and 10 the base of a circle that's why located f is here then say e f next g g is on 10 g is on 10 g on 10 g h G H I A then join all these points with the help of it smooth curve That is first section development of first section plane is over. Coming to the second section plane, this is the second section plane. This P point, where it is, P point is on 4, P point is on 4, as well as 
10 as well as 10 next next draw projectors from q as well as s and u and t s and u and t now say q q where it is on e q is on e q or r is on 5 next yes i mean from t also we have to draw projector t next u next v like that we will get point say p q r s t u v u v here p q r s t u v w u v w p q r s t u v w this is w Now we have to do the dimensioning. Then diameter of the circle. Next axis height. Yeah. Now I'll revise everything once. First of all, we have to draw the base circle, divide the base circle into 12 parts then draw the corresponding uh, front view after drawing the corresponding front view then draw first section plane line then draw second section plane line after drawing the first section plane line locate the intersection points then draw the second section plane line locate the intersection points of the section plane line with the front view generators as well as base after that from the bottom base of a front view and top base of a front view draw two stretch out lines after drawing the two stretch out lines then somewhere here locate a point 1 and 1 1 there so that 1 1 1 is equal to pi d value divide this pi d value into 12 parts then uh, give those numbers say 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that then drop uh, projectors drop projectors after drawing the projectors then again come to the initial front view first you consider the first section plane line from the first section plane line intersection points drop projectors so that those projectors are parallel to the baseline here you say a b like that after drawing the projectors uh, locate the intersection point say a b c d e f g h i a like that after locating the intersection points join those intersection points with the help of a smooth curve that is the first section plane line then come to the second section plane line uh, draw uh, second section plane line by locating the intersection points of the actual development that's about the development of truncated cylinder with two section plane lines. hope everyone understood well thank you